What up you weirdos, Fever here. How's everyone doing today? Staying out of trouble? If you've been following this channel, then you know with the help of a fantastic subscriber, I started a series where we showcase builds featuring weapons from the exotic kiosk. Usually I would pick one random weapon, but today we're going to be covering a hybrid warmind slash charged with light build that works with multiple weapons. This build is a little outside the box, and honestly you can achieve the become charged with light part by just equipping the mod taking charge and using a masterworked weapon. But my problem with that is, it just gets a bit stale at times and I like to switch it up some. Especially for someone like me who plays this game a lot, I'm in one of those weird places with Destiny again where there's not a whole lot to do. I originally started off with the Ace of Spades, but it turned into a build that works fantastic with Polaris Lance, Jotun, Sunshot, and Xenophage, Xenophage, or however you say it. Regardless, I had a blast with this one. Get it? Blast? All those weapons cause solar explosions? Never mind, bad dad jokes, I know. This build isn't something I'd take into a Grandmaster Nightfall because, let's be honest, you're not killing anything in there with an explosion from Firefly, but definitely good if you're out goofing around doing a 1280 ordeal and need some ad control, or just want to change up your playstyle a bit in a strike or something. Kinda spice things up. Little caliente, I don't know. There are a few mods required for this, but you can consume the charge with light stacks however you see fit, or whatever works for your playstyle. I personally favor protective light for most charged with light builds, but for this one I was having way more fun with energy converter for the extra super energy, and since we're going to be chucking grenades a lot, this mod works perfect. The key to this build is any ability or weapon that causes solar splash damage, like the weapons I mentioned a moment ago or your grenades, and a little old mod called Wrath of Rasputin. The mod reads, solar splash damage final blows have a chance to create war mine cells. So any explosion damage that kills an ad from something like Firefly or a Solar Grenade can drop a Warmind Cell. From here you have several choices depending on if you want to go more into a Charged Light or Warmind Heavy build. For me, I tend to go more into the Warmind Cells because there's something about seeing a little glowy ball of destruction in action. It just hits me in the feelers every time. <laughs> For the Warmind Heavy Hybrid build, I would recommend Light from Darkness or Warmind's Light because not only can these mods blow stuff up, they can also make you charge with light from the Warmind Selves themselves. Selves themselves? Yeah. Light from Darkness reads, Become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple enemies near a Warmind Cell with weapons or abilities. And Warmind's Light reads, Become charged with light by collecting a Warmind Cell. Which just means run over it instead of blowing it up and now you're charged with light. These mods pair extremely well with this build. I ended up using both of them at the same time for some extra security to become charged with light, but it's not necessary. If you plan on using only one and throw a lot of solar grenades, the light from darkness is your best bet. And if you do go the route of only using one, it also frees up a spot for something like another charge with light or warmind cell mod. You could slot in something like global reach, which is the industry standard for warmind cell builds, or you can use rage of warmind which causes solar splash damage to enemies when you blow up a warmind cell. That explosion can actually cause more enemies to poop out Warmind Cells. It's kind of a beautiful sight actually. Instead of slotting another Warmind mod, you can add something like the one I mentioned earlier called Taking Charge, which makes you charge with light by picking up orbs. Or Supercharge, which lets you earn two additional stacks of charge with light. At this point, between the Solar Splash damage weapon you chose, the grenades, and the Warmind Cells you keep creating, you're now a walking, never talking, carpet bomb of death. The only thing you have left to do now is equip stacks on stacks so you gain an additional stack of charge with light for every stack you earn and decide which consumed stacks of charge with light mod you want to use. Like I said earlier, I went with energy converter because I was throwing a bunch of grenades anyways to cause warmind cells to spawn. Energy converter reads, while charged with light, using your grenade attack grants you super energy, consuming all stacks of charge with light. The more stacks you have, the more energy you gain. If you do go with energy converter, I recommend having high discipline so you can get your grenade back faster. I tried this build with all the weapons I mentioned above, and regardless of which one you choose, there is an Ikelos or 7 Serif weapon to pair with it, so you can create even more Warmind Cells. Play around with it, and let me know how you piece this build together in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, but more importantly, above everything else, just be a good person to one another. That's all I ask. Have a fantastic day and thank you for watching. Oh yeah, thank you.